a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. We're together. We're together. Yo, 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 yo. Hey there, everybody. It's your boy, Moon Ninja, back once again. And today, I'm starting another Super Impossible Mode playthrough, a.k.a. Simp. I want to try this one as a game developer. We're gonna be we're gonna be doing the old Todd Howard approach in le in memory of Fallout. We'll be making a bunch of wasteland games. It's funny because actually, um, the people who made Fallout, some of the people who made Fallout New Vegas, actually made their own games called Wasteland, which is actually a a role playing game. I I thought was a cool name for a title for a video game in in here. So whatever, let's jump into it. I just thought it was a little coincidence. Nice to point out here. What's what's load? old moon ninja so we are doing super impossible mode so impossible mode but then you take your tax rate and you set it to 75 percent because we hate ourselves that's how that works here so what, what are we doing we're making games so let's set our creativity to visionary and we'll set this to game and as for the um i forget these are called traits I am personally gonna go for super focus, RGB thumb, and silent but deadly. I think these are the best ones to choose for, for what you're what I'm doing here. Where it's our main goal is what we're gonna do is sole independent proprietor, working independent as long as we can to hold out. So let's let's rename this to the Simp Inc. There it is, man. Super impossible mode playthrough. Do I want to do days per month? I think we'll leave that a standard. With a hundred thousand dollar loan, other features, other special, what is it, skills? Multitasking, good. Social, good. Fine. We're not getting any loans, so that doesn't matter. Support marketing. I think this is fine. Let's mix it up. Let's go play in the city. Uh, well, we have to play in the city. But let's go play temperate this time. Just uh, make it a little bit harder on ourselves. As you may or may not know, I prefer playing in the cold because then you only have to heat your buildings. When you play in temperate, you have to heat and cool your buildings. So this is our block of land they gave us. Let's look at it. How much other space do we have? Huh, that's not so bad. Cute little block. Um, we have $50,000. Now, the first thing you have to do when you start your simp playthrough, employee benefits. Max out everything. Max out everything. I hate vacation months the worst. This is the, this would kills me. Also, the company car is really bad too. $25,000 every time you want to hire an employee. And if you're doing like a really sophisticated search for a person like... You want high salary designer who's compatible and it's got specialization in this and it's got this points but not these. And is a programmer. Look at this, twenty thousand dollars now. <laughs> On top of another twenty-five thousand to hire them. So you're almost at fifty thousand dollars just to hire a single employee. So if you didn't know, we spent some money uh, buying ourselves a car. So this is why you can only have one founder when you're doing the simp playthrough. Because max benefits includes the founder. The founder just bought herself her car, which she's well deserved. Let's build a little office for her to work in here. There's your little cube of hell. 
We're gonna set this up to be office style one. Put a wooden door on the front of there. And then we'll put a window on this side. All right, not, not bad. We got some natural light in there. Press T to lower the walls so we can see inside of there. Let's put a desk. Oh, we should put it in the command position. So that, that involves putting it right here. And then you put the chair. We're gonna get the $400 chair put right there. So you're facing the door. That's how you're in the command position. Office, let's get the only computer we can get, along with the inbox, and a bookcase. The carpet fix it fits in here, because it's a two by three. Put a clock on the wall. So now we have to have an AC unit, which we can put. I want to put on this other wall here. This is not a modular design. We gotta fix this. We have to delete this window. Hold on. Window gone. AC unit. Okay, so it fits there. Can we put the window on the other side there then? No. No window at all. Okay, oh, we actually have some new AC unit. We have some new furniture I wanted to explore. So in this game, there's a big update. So what is the ceiling AC? This one. 1,500 square feet. This one. Oh, dude. What's, how, how long does these last? He didn't even put um, a durability 14 months. These things last forever. Oh, well, somebody tried calling me. Who would that be? Huh. Weird. They'll leave me a voicemail. Like, people, if people want to get a hold of me, they really should be emailing me. So that's weird. Oh, they did leave me a voicemail. Okay, I'll get back to that later. So now we have AC in here. Oh. Roof. Oh, okay, so these are... Okay, these are actually useless then. Never mind. These are attached to... Yeah, you might as well get like a ventilation vent at that point. It's just a bigger one of these. Maybe it's less noisy, but it's uglier. Huh, interesting. Let's get the fire alarm in here. Smoke detector, so that we won't get fined when we expand this later on. So we will st have to delete this window again. Um, to keep this modular, we'll have to put an AC unit on this wall here. So when we copy this design multiple times, each have their own AC unit. Eventually we'll have a utilities room, but not right now. I do want a window in there though, that's really unfortunate. I like the natural light for when nobody's in there. Because people will complain, they'll like stumble into a room and they'll be like, Oh, it's dark in here. Uh, can I get like a small... Like, God. Unless I made the office wider, I could get it done. But I, yeah, the window's got to be on this side because when I copy and paste it, the only side facing outward will be this one. These side walls here won't... There'll be other offices, so that won't work. I mean, it kind of might work. If you have other offices lighting each other up. I don't know, we'll, I guess we could give that a try. I don't really feel like doing that. Somebody's calling me, hold on.
Oof, man. Okay, sorry. I'm. <sighs> Give me a minute here to, to to reorientate myself. I got people calling me. Big deals are going on. Contracts are being made. <sighs> a lot of pressure. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back in the game. So, last we left off, we were trying to just basically design a single cheap solo office for our single founder to work on while we develop our first piece of software, video games. We specialize in video games. I think we're gonna have to make our own 2D editors and sound editor to and keep the process cheap. Uh, we're not going to hire any staff because um, our main money making process will be investing in the stock market, 100%. Uh, in fact, we haven't even looked at it yet, but I'm hoping we get lucky. That's uh, our main strategy is luck. All companies, and we'll just go by date founded. And oh, here's a one that was founded about a year ago, 48,000. This might be a still an okay investment. Let's look at their founder. Ordinary. Uh. Ooh, okay. That's still making money. So we could, how many shares could we buy of this company? Details, to do, do. This wouldn't get me that much. It would. We could park some money here for it to grow. $10,000. I wonder how much that'd be worth. We, it, it would be a, let's look at the company's chart too. So their, their balance is just going up, just crazy like. So it's actually fine to buy this. We'll sell that later if we need to. Okay, so we have our office set up, I think. Let's go in this mode. Sorry, I guess got really rattled from that phone call. Whew. Not enough lights or lamps. Okay, so let's put a light lamp in there. Do 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 do. Easily rattled. That's me. Did I I thought I hoped I removed a bunch of mods. There we go, I did. So now this game is perfectly stock. Let's go to function. This makes it so much easier to find lights. Oh boy. I am. I am frazzled right now. Oh, too bad we can't put these in this office. Space is occupado. I'll have to do with these ones. I don't like these ones because the durability sucks on them. They'll, they'll start a fire. Damn. Damn, this thing is huge. Holy crap. Yeah, this thin hanging lamp. All right, I'll give that a try. I've never had that one before. These are new ones, the patch. Not enough heating. Okay, so this is where I choose, whew cannot think straight right now excuse me electric heaters so this office right now is modular we can copy and paste it a hundred times it's really good I think we have all the things no skill mood there's one other one we're missing um, skill and mood skill and mood oh my god Having the biggest brain fart ever right now. We have the efficiency, right? Okay, no, we don't. Okay, that's what we're missing. The wall clock. Boom! Efficiency. All right. 
So I think I'm going to save this blueprint. Oh my god. It feels so weird. <sighs> save selected room as hot, cold, solo, cheap office. That's, that's ready to go. So first thing we have to do if we want to make video games is have our own 2D editor and audio tool. So we don't have to pay somebody else to do this for us. So let's develop our own 2D editor and audio tool. 2D editor first. So this one's going to be called... Uh, uh, a cheap 2D editor. It's a, it's a great name. And so there it is. We'll just put it for the, I mean, we don't even really have to, you know what we do? In-house only. I like to do, these are two star features, auto balance, and then text rendering. These honestly don't even matter. When you have your team person here, or your, your team, your main founder, first thing you want to do is set their hours to 12. Double click them, change their role over to leader. This will give them a speed boost, even though they're the sole because they're working solo on a team. You can check out their details and see how they're getting private office. That's because they're only per they're working, they got a private office with the lead bonus. You know, take it away, that goes away. So what's it now? 120, 150. So it's a huge speed boost. Just turn that on. And so this is done. And we're gonna do promote and then release. All right, we did it. Now we have to make an audio tool. Uh, in-house only again we will use our a cheap 2d editor now to make this how's that working that looks that looks beautiful develop oh my god I feel sick to my stomach And don't spend that much time on it. Make sure you don't hit cancel there. Hit promote. All right, so we have our 2D editor, our sound edit, 2D editor sound tool made. We can make video games with that now. What type of video games do we want to make? Is it a role-playing game or an adventure game? Let's make a role-playing game. So now we can use our own tools. Save us thousands of dollars. Product name? We didn't even give it a name. We called it product name. Ah! Excuse me, I spazzed out there. So what does the market want? They want kind of story and some graphics. So we can do some graphics. There, there's some graphics. All right, this is looking okay. 68% interest. We overshot it with that one a little bit. Gotta take away one of these. Alright, that's a really good game. That's a really good game. How long is it gonna take us to make it? Four years. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do
is just make it. Oh, we got to change the name of it. Fallout. And we're going to do just like the last ones. The tiniest bit of work. Develop. Review. No, not review. Promote. Release. Cancel support. Now what we can do is we can release a sequel for it. What was the price going to be? $80. $80. We'll get a 10% speed boost just because we made a sequel. This is what we got to do to give us every advantage we can as we play in super impossible mode. All right, let's develop this game. What are our bills? $200 a month divided by this means 20 months. Oof. Okay, this is this is coming along nicely. I gotta check all companies. I'm gonna check my stock investment. Up two percent. And I'm getting some dividends. Look at look at those look at those dividends there. That's that's serious. Yeah, I'm making two hundred dollars a month in dividends. That's that's breaking even with my my bills. I'm actually made a profit last month. That's serious. I should have purchased a bit more. We gotta keep an eye on our tax bill, though. If we accidentally make some profit, we are gonna pay dearly for it. We have a ninety-four percent tax rate. Not a, it's not a meme. It's serious. Look at that. Making $250 a month. But our main avenue to prosperity will be investing in new companies. We'll just sort by date founded. Look, look for companies that have a worth less than say five million. Oh, here's a, but you gotta be suspicious about ones like this. Like what's going on here? Why are you? doing so bad is that the taxes oh those are the tax bills every year they have to pay their taxes <laughs> see that knife that comes down just stabs St um, what's going on here for your company though like a pretty good company to invest in. Hmm, whatever. A lot of fans.
wanted to buy like three shares, but I can't. Oh well. So we made some money. We made $500 last month, that's awesome. Oh yeah, my investment's up. So, and this is the game. This is the strategy right here. You're watching it. An amazement. We'll just kind of lower this down here. We'll check on the cleanliness of the room. Okay, I think this room needs a, maybe a painting on it. On it, in it. Maybe I'll put a painting on the wall somewhere right here. That will help the room maintain its environment score longer, which means we have to clean it less often with housekeeping. Another thing, this person, we have to set her to work one task at a time, maximum. We're gonna go for two and a half design iterations. And then we'll fully program it and bug fix it for a while and then release it. And hopefully the software sells awesome. Income, money we make in a month 400 oh my god that's so good this is my first uh, attempt right now so this isn't like I did a bunch of scum saves yet in fact we should drop a save and we'll come back here in the future working on here is we're struggling with the open world. System skill. Uh-oh, where'd that company go? Did it went out of business? Or did it explode in value? Where's my phone? stuff here. Oh no, it fucking broke something. God damn it. So I said I'm going for two and a half. 
So we'll get this to two. It'll, it'd say three, but it'll be halfway through three, and that's when we'll stop. How you doing there, Moon Ninja? You getting any skills? The lead skills are going up. Be cool if you get some design skills. Noise. See, the AC unit makes noise. That's not cool. Typical wall. Not really. Oh, there's Ollie again. They what happened? What happened, you guys? You exploded in value for a month. Was this stocks? They bought and sold a bunch of stocks. Dude, their bills are like a million dollars a month. What are they doing? Uh, they're like losing money. Not good management. Us, on the other hand. We have to worry about taxes now. difference between two and two and a half it's a threshold I don't want to be like oh I well really I'm going for 2.3 but you know when you um you do project management and they ask for development time basically that's what you're they're asking for is how many iterations you want to go for and I want to make sure we get at least a great quality project with no we can't afford it no reviews during the development phase. Plus, that will take way too long because we'll lose a lot of progress. It's a video game, so they cost 25000 if you want to look at each area here. So it's like 5000 5000 5000 5000 5, Maybe it's it's 20000 in this case, I think. Anyway, so if we get two iterations done... I don't think it guarantees us a great quality product. It might be good, but at two and a half, I'll be really confident it'll be great. Because if I if it's not if, if if it's not great at two and a half, I'm gonna be really mad, <laughs> and you'll you'll hear me on stream be upset. <laughs> but if it's if I did two iterations and it's not great, I'll be like, well, figures. I only did two. Oh, a new company got founded, did they? Or no? No, other companies are just losing their wealth. Look at this. These companies are just fucking collapsing. They can't handle their tax bills. Luckily, I've learned massive tax avoidance strategies, which we will have to implement immediately as soon as we start making profit. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look what they've done to me. I gotta pay $700. I'm not even making any money anymore. Are my, are my companies broke? Yeah, I'm not even making dividends. Look at this. Nothing. So this is one of my main strategies is spend your money, they can't tax it. You have, you're, you're taxed based on your balance. Balance is your income minus operation and depreciation. I don't know exactly what depreciation is. I think it's um, like furniture losing value. That's what I think it is. Like for example, a carpet goes bad after five years or something. 
our bet goes bad after 10 years, and so it's depreciating 10% of its value every year. Um, operation, though, this is like our bills and employees cost. So, and I think this is also includes constructions and building new stuff. So we might build a new parking lot and it'll go under operation, but sometimes they're not tax deductible one-to-one. -one. I don't understand what's happening in those situations. But as you can see, we are kind of spending our tax bill down. This is what happens when you play on super high tax modes. You'll find your number one thing is just trying to avoid paying as much taxes as possible, which involves spending to a limit though. Because if you overspend, then you have to spend, then you end up spending money you're going to use to pay your taxes with. So it's that can be really awful sometimes. And so you'll see me save before I do some major spending. Anyways, we're almost done with this game. At least the design phase. Ooh, new company we can invest in. Finally, look at this. Oh, they have a great leader here. This company is worth 500,000, it's perfect. Next month, we're gonna invest in it. Like everything, we'll probably sell off our shares with the other company. Yeah, this is a great opportunity, finally. It only took a year and a half. I will buy some of that product. Uh, sometimes new companies don't always release a product, but if you look in the calendar, we can see Gimme LLC audio tool. They're releasing it September. It's tomorrow. So this is two and a half. This is 2.5. Really what you want is... um all of these to at least kind of be like a quarter of the way through. What happens a lot of times is one of these will get done and the rest of these will be lagged behind. And then you'll have like audio score six. Well, uh, well we'll have like a nine, 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 seven. And it was like, this one will be dragging down your overall score. So I want to make them like all have like at least past the, like the, the picture here on Moon Ninja. That progress in all of them. That's really what I want to have happen, but as a rule of thumb, I'm missing two and a half because some of these, they get done faster than like, see, open world is really the slowest one to get done. It's usually the last one to get programmed. Anyway, so how is my investment opportunity looking? We're going to buy some more. Keep that window open. We're not paying any taxes. So the way the stock market game, my investment strategy is you invest all of your money in the newest company as long as you can. So as you can see here, we can't afford 7,000. So what do we do? We go to details. We look at our old Electro Forge thing. It's actually kind of collapsing in value. Our investment's actually kind of down. But anyways, we're going to sell. Then we're gonna invest all that money into this new company. Bam. And you'll kind of repeat that process. You'll see this number kind of grow. This will eventually be worth like a quarter million and then you'll invest a quarter million to the new company and you'll have like 10% ownership and then you'll be like golden. And you'll do that a couple times. You'll have 10% ownership of like four companies. You'll be making $400,000 a month in dividends. good to be making money this is the ultimate challenge remember, remember max employee benefits so we can't even hire one employee off the get-go we actually need to hire two because one of them is gonna immediately take a three-month vacation as soon as we hire them it's what happens believe me they always take a vacation as soon as you hire them it makes me want to cry that's why I don't even want to hire anybody. When I release this game and it's selling really well and we have like 10,000 users and like a quarter million in the bank, then we'll hire two people. But until then, we're just going to chill. And we're going to invest all of our money in this company as long as we can. So it's 6,000. We'll put 6,500 into it. The ROI on this is really good. Look at this. We're already up 123%. 
$40,000. We could sell that and make $40,000 whenever we wanted to. Another thing, a good thing to do is look at their chart, look at their product. So this is a new company. They don't even have fans yet. I expect this to keep growing. It's it'll, it's gonna go down like the one these next first two three months. It'll look small, but then it's gonna jump up. It'll like double this first one. You'll see fifty thousand in sales. It's only good quality though, but it's inspiring. Yeah, see, it's gonna go up. Almost done with that. Do I have any money left over? See, at this point, the company's worth five million. I don't even really want to invest them anymore. That's kind of my cutoff point, like I've said. Five million, this is like debatable. Do I want, so this is 20, so if I put 5,000, I would get one fifth of that, which is about $400 a month. I see why not return on investment oh so now we have to start worrying about paying taxes now this is really regrettable looks like we got our progress I wanted on this uh, yeah 2d graphics and audio are kind of lacking but whatever let's go We actually owe $8,000 in taxes. This is terrible. I hate this. Is it time to get an accountant? The dividends better be rolling in. Otherwise, what we do is we sell our stocks on tax day to break even. But there we go. We're making $4,000 a month in dividends. Like I was saying, you could review your product at the cost of 25,000, which we can't afford to do that. So by doing two and a half iterations, I'm pretty sure this will be a great quality with visionary creativity product. The only real problem then is bug text, bug testing it. You're... Excuse me one second here. I need to give a little lecture. Okay. Our bug testing a game. There's certain uh, skill levels that you can you can't reach unless you have. Guy right now, he's got a 25% programming skill, so he might find a 400 bugs. Between level scale and uh, level level 25 and 50. Then he I'll only ever find 25% of the bugs that are in this game because my person has limited programming skill. All right, that's my TED talk. I hope you guys like that. Okay, hold on. Let me try to explain this again. <laughs> So, where's my marker? Zero.
If your dev skill is only 25, you will only find the first 400 bugs. The number is arbitrary. You need higher level programmers to actually find all the bugs when completing your game. When I, when my guy makes, when he does the bug testing in my game, he will stop at a certain point and say, I'm done. I can't find any more bugs. There are more bugs. He just can't find them. His skill's too low and it will never get higher. So this will be a persistent problem. We will release games that have probably a 25% return rate, and there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, let's look at my hairline. There we go. <laughs> That's my TED talk, I hope you guys like it. Let's turn down this microphone a bit there. So let's keep this going now. How do you so it's just the generic programming skill um, This right here This skill right here Determines what's the maximum amount of bugs they can actually find If this was maxed out they'd actually find a large majority of the bugs and then when you release your game It'll be like 0.0% refunds because the programming skill is so low, we're going to have like 25% refunds, even if we let her bug test for 100 years. I hope I've explained that well enough, in simple enough terms. It's kind of a weird concept. It's something I didn't understand either, because I'll be like, T I can understand them being slower at finding bugs, which they are. They are slower at finding bugs too, but there's also bugs they will never find skill cap thing this game's got some hidden depth to it you didn't I, I had to find out so how are we doing in terms of taxes oh we paid our tax bill on time that's great and our next year's tax is 10,000 oh my god it's already beginning oh my god it's already fucking beginning holy shit holy shit Fuck. How is it possible I owe more taxes than money I have? I haven't even spent anything this year. <laughs> oh God, this is, this is, <laughs> I call this the scythe. I think there's some sort of glitch in the, in the game's math of taxes. Because I feel like we're paying a little bit more than we should. You guys saw that. I just paid my tax bill this month. Or last month. And I've done nothing else this game other than get dividends income. So we're making money through dividends. It's fine. You know, it's like a couple, three or four thousand a month. That's like what we should be expecting. And I expect 94% of it to be taxed away, which is fair. But then why do I have a higher tax bill than money I have? I haven't spent anything other than my... Whew. I don't understand it. It upsets me a lot. So, one thing we can do is we can spend our way to lower our tax bill. So that's kind of what I want to do. Let's make a copy of this office. How much is this office? I have $17,000 to pay in taxes. So I can make a clone of this office. Ten thousand. Oh, what's that delta there? Oh no, that doesn't look good. Now I owe four thousand more than I have. I think I may have slightly overspent. Oh no. I shouldn't have saved shit. <laughs> Damn, I didn't want to save. I misclicked the save. Oh man, this run is this run is looking scuffed already. You're paying taxes on owned stocks? No, there is no capital gains tax. Only when you sell your stocks do you pay tax on it. Oh, here's a great company to invest in. This will save us. Oh, thank God.
the goal our, our main way to to win and survive this stupid like tax glitch is just to make a shit ton of money and also to hire an accountant as soon as possible we're worth two hundred thousand dollars that's not bad Another thing we should do is we have income, but if I spend all my money on stocks as 10,000, it will lower our income. And then come next year, we can just sell that stock. It's like a way of hiding your money. That's what you want to do. We're, we're trying to do tax avoidance pretty much here. <laughs> it's a new game, new game method strategy. Tax avoidance simulator. So are you releasing a product soon, brain? Yes, you are, antivirus, ooh. Why are you doing it? I, okay, so I, you, I wish you would have done operating systems instead. Let's look at their chart. We'll buy this as well. Didn't you release your product today? Let it sell. Alright, that's okay. How are you doing in here? Computer's working great. Something's on fire. You need to call in maintenance ASAP. If you don't, it will start a fire. The tax man is greedy. You always up drinking, ninja. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better. Sorry, I got a that phone call really. Ooh, another company got founded. Mmm. Buy. Details over here. Two new companies to invest in. This is a great opportunity for us. We'll take full advantage of it. If we get enough dividends, we can use it to hire one person, but it's scary. I kind of want to hire an accountant. Need an accountant. <laughs> Need an accountant. Maybe I should have had this person with uh, their own accounting skill. So she could have done her own taxes. It, it does, it does help out a lot with the optimizing. It actually makes it so that you can survive. So how are we doing on our product here? We're done with the audio, uh, the graphics part. All I have to do is program. So maybe I'll switch out to a calculator. We program a bit faster. If you minimize this, you actually get a decimal point here, so it's 80.7, 80.9, as opposed to just 77, 77.8. There we go. So you can see the progress a bit better there. That's what I like to do. Buy, buy. So we spent a lot of money on stocks, but the game is on to us. It realizes that stocks aren't actual business expenses. And then we're just kind of parking our money away. But they don't fall under operations. I guess they fall under miscellaneous stocks. We pay taxes. And these things are tax deductible. This is income, and then these are expenses here. So it's the new year. What's my tax bill? $29,000. 
keep on buying shares of these companies. When it, oh, there's another company that got founded today. Oh, this is very, very lucky. This is great. These are a huge windfall for us. I'm going to turn off this filter here. I have some ownership of this company here. So I have $200,000 in shares here. Oh, but yeah, that's where I'm making all my dividends from. So I want to put off hiring somebody as long as possible because it's going to cost us $50,000 to hire somebody but oh yeah we do want to optimize the taxes though so let's check this out let's look at maybe service accounting <laughs> modest <laughs> honestly it doesn't even matter that much it really is a good one Wouldn't that be great if they could just fix their own computer themselves? Six thousand. We don't have the money to hire somebody. It costs twenty-five thousand per car. This product is almost done though, that's great. Open world is all that's left in the game design. Oh, so we have to invest. Whoa, shit. I meant to buy. You. Let's sell some shares. <laughs> they traded offices. So you want some education. That, that's for leadership though. And I don't care about educating your leadership skill. What you need is better programming or design skill. Next month, they're gonna cry bankruptcy, okay? Just ignore it. Even though it is getting kinda gnarly. We done yet? Ninety eight point one. Ninety eight point two. So we're going to sell off some of, oh wow, this is making a lot of dividends. Let me look at their charts. Good company. Bad company. Good company. For my investments, details. Brain sound. Yeah, brain sound is kind of doing the worst here.
buy a lot of this company here. This is really slowing down here, this progress. It's such a crawl. I think we're gonna stop at 99%. Like we're making a framework here. Oh, another new company to invest in. Oh, this is, look at this. It's like the springtime of companies to invest in. Beautiful. I took it back, guys. I want it to be 100% done. We're worth 400,000 now. Is this done yet? All right, so we're bug testing our game. Now would be a good time to hire a programmer if you wanted, if you had enough money, a high level programmer, because then they could, they could finish all the bug testing properly. We're not gonna do that. Oh no, you're not releasing a product. Oh, you did release a product. Pixel Point? Hey! That sounds a lot like Pixel Paint. Guys! Did... Did, did my boy Kenneth just copy Pixel Paint from me and name it Pixel Point? He changed the O, the A to an O. Did, did my boy Kenneth really just do that to me? <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask him about that. Uh, probably not. I'm not that special. Okay, so we're gonna keep on investing in the new company. We're gonna bug test it. Okay, we have to think about when we're gonna release this box. So this is a RPG game. Let's go look at games. RPGs. There's none being released for a long ass time, so we can release it anytime now. It is paramount we bug test this thing as long as we can, because it's gonna be very buggy. In fact, we can almost afford to hire somebody now. Here's another company we get to invest in. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. It's a springtime of companies. What are my monthly dividends looking at? $100,000 in taxes, Jesus H. Okay, we gotta do this now. Modest, super focused, slow eater. Fuck, I gotta build them an office now too. But yeah, it's important to make an accounting team.
Oh, we had to pay for the car. I forgot about the car. I always forget about the fucking car. I never remember the car. I gotta sell off some stocks now. I'm gonna sell off some shares of this company here. Okay, that's fine. All right, very nice. Now we can put a phone in here so we can work more effectively. Lastly, we gotta set up this friggin' vacation. So this is not when they, this is when they start their vacation. I want this jackhole to start his vacation in May. Okay, that's when he gets to start his vacation, May. May, June, July is his vacation time. Let's go see what this guy's gonna say now. Next vacation, May, 1984. Also, you're a lead now. Think about marketing this thing. So we're gonna say maybe September of 84. Then we could do maybe a press build soon. Maybe at around 200 bugs fixed, we'll do a press build. This person's already done optimizing our taxes. I guess I'm the one task at a time. We're gonna lower their hours a lot. Because they already did their job. This 5,000 is actually really huge. You divide it by points zero six and that's how much wealth he generated for the company it's actually kind of huge so we're gonna do um press build tonight Look at the followers we got here. Bring on the hype train. We'll pause that so we can look at it though. 80 followers? That's really good. It might be the next big hit. It's at all the new features. They're aiming for September. How was my taxes? Did he optimize anything really more? No, he didn't. But he's here now, okay? So he can't really quit. We got him. Plus, we have the best employee benefits ever. Why would he want to leave? Making $20,000 a month in dividends. Oh, I forgot to invest in this company.
Oh, we gotta be able to afford bonuses, but let's buy it this much. We will keep on investing in new companies, but they gotta be worth below $2 million. I think we're gonna release this product tomorrow. We're not, it seems like we're not really bug fixing it anymore. Now taxes, can you get this done in time? You're already done? You're already done. Okay, let's release this then. No marketing team. Let's order 1,000 copies. First thing we kind of have to do is give it the most updates we can muster. Now, in a time like this, I'll use someone else's product because I know I'll get it done really fast. But I'll choose one of the cheapest licenses still to save money. We're gonna get this done today. Big yikes. We have two years to market the hell out of this product right now. So I'm not really stressing it. Kinda wanna see if we can get a marketing person in here. Sixty-five users. Five thousand in sales. Oh, it, we should look at the product. How is the product? Great. That's what I wanted for visionary. And only eight percent. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go all in. I type ass. All in. What I want to do now is look at my company's net worth. I'm going to sell off all of this one right here. I'm just going to sell all this off. some offices. Now let's make a hallway. Double door on the front. Put some carpets in here. There we go. Break room. I have to put this AC unit in this break room as well now. And then one bathroom. This and 
AC unit right over here. There we go. I don't even think that really matters, honestly. I've never heard people complain about the bathrooms being too hot or cold. So this is my office now. We can hire some people. We'll need to. I want to hire some marketers. We're going to market the hell out of this game and maybe get another programmer. Marketing. Honestly, when it comes to marketing, I don't know which of these skills even really matter that most. Like maybe independent, maybe maybe modest a little bit. In other builds, I'd go modest, but in this mode, in this mode, the um, the tax rate's so high, employees' expenses are just nothing really to worry about. Okay, you're fine. We'll put you at. Marketing. Why are you? We can hire one more person for support. Assign you to be support. The rooms are so dark. God, I wish I could fix that. That's a bit better. Okay, so let's assign this up now to so support. We'll help this one. We will market this product now. We're gonna market it like a motherfuck. We're gonna market it as hard as we can. After he gets the update out. And we're gonna set their hours. only need to do like two hours. Need to get this big update out. Come on, get the update out. Go! Finally, jeez. How's our taxes looking this year? Good. 120,000. A quarter million. Oh my god. Okay, so we got some more sales now. Twelve percent refund rates, pretty high. I'm going to set up the schedule so that the support comes in a bit earlier. So we can get these bugs fixed earlier. I 
think we're gonna hire have to hire another person for marketing. What we can do is we can set it up like this. So we're not over booking our offices. How many copies have I sold? All right. Can I get, can we like sell out of copies here? Come on, help me sell out. Marketing like never fucking helps me, I feel. Big system update, that should help us. Oh, um, should we port it? 1.2 million. No, it's fine right now. I'm gonna break over the small threshold here. Sparse marketing is setting us back. I'm gonna order another few thousand copies here, maybe another thousand. We have a great product, nobody knows about us. That's kind of what's going on here. Now we have prominent marketing. Okay, that kind of bumped up our sales a little bit. Gotta keep pushing out these updates. Three hundred fifty-five active users. We got two hundred seventy fans. We're working on it. It's getting better. I'm gonna keep on putting money in the marketing until we get above prominent. Also, our units should start to pick up. start complaining about the dirtiness of rooms. 30,000 in marketing again. I wish I knew what levels you had to hit to like get to the next level of marketing. I don't even know. Gotta work on those. Seven thousand dollars. I feel like if you don't hit the next level, it's like almost you're wasting money, but I know you're not. It's it, it gets set into a, like a pool that keeps you at prominent longer, but we need to kind of get to the next level. 
We're the next, we're the best RPG for the next couple years. Maybe it'd help us if I put core on this as well. Oh, everyone's on fucking vacation now. Look at this shit. Income, 7,000. 1.3 monthly users. Units. 130 units. It's pretty good. So this is stable. What's my tax bill look like? 160,000 in taxes. I can't keep up with all the tickets. A lot of bug fixing for me to do. That's pretty good. We fixed a lot of bugs now. Only 10% refunds. Wish my employees would come back to work, wherever they are. Returns in 20 hours. Big, big boost in sales right there. Like, don't I have two people in my marketing team? Where are they? We're gonna order more product. Let's order another thousand copies. Good, this is beautiful. I like seeing this. This makes me feel better. Whoa, we got another big boost in sales there. I think it's, well, I don't know why, but it's good. I'm not complaining. 400 units. Burglars are stealing my shit. I'm so...
Time to get a second shift marketing team. Make sure we assign them. Set up their hours. There we go. We need another marketing room. Get to it. Now we're making some big money. This is good because once we start making millions of dollars, then our we can actually start the optimizations really start to kick in, and we get out of the death spiral, of the scythe before of the tax. The, we, we us having to pay more in taxes than we actually have money on hand. We can kind of escape the spiral now. Thirty thousand dollars in sales nice 600 units now it's really kind of pop off there so let's order 5,000 copies now The way the tax bill works, it doesn't actually matter that much if we have people work longer hours, so we might as well just do this. As long as they get their job done, it, it helps. Now we can get an update out. Let's unassign core off this now. We're going to put the limit on this to zero. Let you guys kind of break through. Show us what you can do. Kind of want to hit above prominent. Fifty thousand dollars in marketing a day is really good. Nice, nice, nice. Widespread. So we finally hit widespread in marketing. We'll set this to be capped at 55,000 now. How much income did we make yesterday? 46,000. Pretty darn good. Well, I'm thinking about porting this. Yeah, int 3 just came out. We got Fallout 2 here. It's really kind of carrying us. It's. I hope this keeps going up. That'd be amazing.
The company's in debt. Oh no, what do we do? Ah, darn, it didn't keep going up. So let's go look at our details and we'll just sell off some shares here. There we go. We're in the red now. Support team is never here. Looks like uh, the porting is getting a little delayed. But it's important to get these bug fixes out. What happened? Literally everybody's gone. Oh, 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 we can make um all these people leaders. Can't keep up with support. I need to hire someone to do support for me. Port. second shift oh wow you have accounting I don't need that it's your fucking vacation <laughs> I'm so mad at them for doing this to me So now we have that set up, finally. We get core off of this. Get this guy back to program. I almost want to hire a um, full-time programmer now too. We can, I think we can, we can afford to do it, programmer. Artiste. Oh uh, no, this will cost us, this will put us back in debt. We'll wait a month. How's taxes coming along? Oh, we're not going to get it done. There you go. Now you have plenty of time. $40,000 in sales. Doesn't sound like a lot. I'm 
I'm paranoid this person's not gonna show up to work. Okay. Good. Come to work. I guess I can start working on a sequel now. Everyone just chill, okay? Let's see what the t uh, tax thing does. If we have money to pay our taxes, we won't. Okay, put this back on. So we gotta sell some money. Never hired that programmer. How'd the sales go last month? Let's just keep porting it. I think I'm gonna try to hire a programmer. Let's sell some more shares. Super focus. Car cat, are you gonna sit there and wheeze at me all day? My cat just likes to look at me and wheeze. I think he's hungry. I'm hungry too. We can be hungry together, car cat. That audio programming could be useful. Then we, we don't have anybody at the audio art scale. This is weird how these two are like. Welcome to the dev team. some updates while we're here. Oh, support second. Oh, support first is supposed to be in there too. Oops. Order more copies. Car cat, do not meow at me. We have six thousand copies. We've sold six thousand. We have six thousand. This is much this is a pretty good place to be. I didn't think our first game would sell so well. <laughs> the wheeze of love. No, it's the wheeze of hunger. He's hungry. But then I'll give him food and he won't be happy with it, so he can just... He 
You just be chill. Oh, a new company to invest in. We'll do that for sure. Vacation. Put you over here. Oh, this is working great. This guy is very fast. Did we just get a big boost in sales? Holy crap. Whoa. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yowza. What happened? 6,000 copies just blew off the shelf. Now we have to order... Uh, duh, triple that. Let's say 20,000. Assign dev to this now, too. Is this all up to date? Yes, it is. Another thing we can do now is build a room here. No, right here. This will be our server room. We go so when we do updates now we're going to sign this as the server maybe we could start another port for this wonder how many copies we'll get to sell now. God, I did not ex Random spike in interest? I hope it maintains. Oh, let's look at competition. Maybe this has something to do with it. The other guys are completely falling off. And there's a hole in the market for the next year or so. We are technically the newest RPG. Oh my god. We have to put an AC unit over here. Or we, maybe we can put... No, the oh, you know, if you look at the um, the consumer reach, it did not double. I mean, it didn't like triple or anything. It went up a bit because we started porting it to other OSs. So you can see, like, we just did this one, and then originally it was on int one. I think then we ported it to int three. We ported it to this one. Damn, 10,000 units. Huge, huge, huge. So now this is when our, our optimizations really start helping us a lot here. Because soon we'll actually, our t we'll have more money than we owe in taxes. We're close to getting there right now. It's only $20,000 difference. And that's even with us selling a lot of stock and stuff like that. We're going to buy this company.
How is this going? This could double again, so I'm gonna order 20,000 copies. I wonder what's going on there. I think it has to do partly with my reputation going up. Some sort of combination of effects or factors. Let's start, let's get a second programmer. I'm gonna make a second team as well. Dev, second. I'll set up their shifts right now. Vacation right there. And hours. Everybody works seven hour shifts with a one hour break in between every shift. This may this uh, makes sure that we have continuous team support at all times. We do have this um, our teams though. Oh shit, who did I hire on these? Okay, no, those are good. What about you? Okay, those are good. Twelve thousand in sales. Damn, man, this is huge for us. I want to start working on a sequel now. We could, in theory, make a DLC for our game. Because we have 30,000 active users. I, I think it'd be better for us to make a sequel. You make an expansion pack. We could have 30,000, maybe 30,000 buyers. The extra DLC. Is that one. Sure, let's start working on this. Sign leaders? Oh, you are right. Just to get a little bit of a speed boost. It's not that important, but it helps a little bit. How are you doing, old tax fraud, my friend? Optimization, 44%. That's pretty good. $20,000 delta. Not bad. I want to I wanna hire some designers now. Designer, none. System 2D. Make them compatible with core. Person's pretty good.
No, never, never get an exclusive lead. You're, oh god, I hired three of them. We can afford to buy the rest of this plot here. Let's buy this parking space over here. Put a down payment of 100,000 on it. And monthly payments of 12,000. Buy this land all right up front. That. Then, let's build a few more offices. Huh, I'm going to try an experiment right here. I haven't done this before. I'm going to build up. I'm going to go up a floor. Delete this wall here. And then if we go down this first floor and build stairs up... stairs just like that boom I'm gonna build some manufacturing up here just some basic printing so we can automate that oh we got an award here best designer we'll sell that hello pad all the way Puts our printing capacity at like 70,000 a month, about, let's say, 140,000 a month. Okay, that's really good. So now we can go to our release and we'll say start printing that. And I want to say 50,000 a month. Also, we're going to assign some offices for designers. Go, switch team, design. Second. Am I support team working? It seems they can barely keep up with the uh, the effort. So let's set up this next design team. Oh, you're crap. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. Please fix break room exterior. Fixed. No problem, bro. We, wow, 13,000 copies that month.
Oh, now we get to do marketing. Okay, we have our marketing team. So let's start a press release. We'll put core on it. Not core. Marketing. Really struggling to keep up with support here. It's kind of crazy. I think we'll have to get a third shift. Set this up. Ooh, design. We'll have to move you over as well. And this is where third shift goes. And then their vacations. Oh, we'll set you over there. Set you right there. Good to me. One, two, three, four, two, three. Oh, this is done. That's nearly done. Okay, let's start developing this. Uh, first, we have to say when we're going to release it, which we're going to release it by... It's currently August. Let's say December of this year. And you also have to do hype. <laughs> the extra DLC. It's a great name. thousand copies I feel like as our market recognition grows the amount of copies we'll sell per month grow will grow as well well, we got to pay two million in taxes what the fuck Equal time. I'm gonna finally afford to not have to use other people's uh, s editors. So we can afford we can afford that cost now. It's a business expense. System 2D. What did I have on there? 
on there. My accent's kind of showing. Uh, design, second shift. Luxury meal. We'll fill up those shifts eventually. We need more marketing staff now, ASAP. I'm gonna get a third shift right now. Second shift. And then we assign these to incorporate the new shift. Did I beat the game, you guys? Did I win? We got assigned our sub a new support team to this. Oops. Oh, and uh, vacations. You're actually supposed to be working right now. What's going on? Where is everybody? Finally. People are showing up. We got a hundred bugs to fix now. I personally think that's fantastic. Whoa, how many units was that? 20,000 units? We're actually kind of doing some damage here now. Really pushing some numbers out. How long? Till the next one comes out? Yeah, another year from now. So this is good. My three marketing people. Oh, let's hire, let's hire these people now. There we go. And go home when you're done. All right, we got maids now. This will be all be done automatic automatically. Maids. 30,000 units. Holy crap.
We need another accountant. Very nice. Ooh. The noise where? What noise? There's too much noise? Why? How? Okay. Whoa. There is a giant fan here. This is actually kind of ridiculous. bathroom door. They won't use it. There we go. Noise taken care of. I guess that was kind of annoying for him. Supposed to release this today. Hundred thousand active users. Wow, look at my monthly thirty six thousand. Yeah, I think we beat this uh, super impossible mode now. One full market recognition, got a hundred thousand fans. Nice, 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 nice. How's my tax avoidance team going? Quarter million? I'm going to keep on doing bug fixes for Fallout 2 here. 
as long as we can. We're gonna ride this thing. Oh, it looks like the users actually went down. Ooh. We got unavoidable now, so we're, we're gonna cap this at 55,000. Oh, what happened there for sales? Is that because the DLC or something? Competition? I don't know. I'm still happy. Everything up until that point was great. Maybe we should try porting it. Maybe that's it. Port. Probably have most of the bugs fixed for now. Yeah, 1%. 24,000 fans. We have $6 million now. I think we could afford to, how much money do we got? We got to pay in taxes. We got to pay six million in taxes. You're fucking kidding me. So I got all my teams kind of set up here. I'm gonna make sure their vacations are all at the right time. And their shifts are at the right time. Third shift. Four of each group. There we go. Are marketing this? Let's make a press release. I'm gonna add two more rooms for uh, two more offices for marketing. Telephones and start hiring. Too many teams, too many teams.
We added six people to our marketing teams. This should really help kind of put us over the limit. Burglars are trying to rob us. Seems off with the tax. I agree. Something does seem off with the taxes every time. Take that one, Kenneth. All right, let's get back in the game. specializes in system compatible of core super focus I almost want to rebuild my office right now. Redesign it. We have enough money to. Well, we gotta wait for our tax bill. Hold on. I don't think he likes his dry cat food very much. He keeps on like, he'll look at me now disappointed. Huh, so what happened here? Is that from porting? How's our DLC selling? <laughs> Why does it sell so bad? Is it the marketing? Honestly, I didn't really want to market it that hard. April, June, 87, release this, develop this, start marketing it. I'm gonna sign core from this. Now what the hell are my designers supposed to do, though? 
a bunch of angry, rabid designers. System update. Those are big. Let's get a system update out. still might be below the optimal team size that's why they're gonna go slow Yeah, fat so Or do you want to come lay on my desk? No, it's all the food. He's just he's overweight and he's mad that I'm not giving him better quality like meat food. He wants, you know, chicken pate. No, you you, you eat that dry or elder cat, you know, pro pro health for elder cat stuff, okay? You're an old cat. You eat that stuff. Why is it they're making such shitty progress on here? Oh. Lol, there's no door here. They're making a sequel. We need to do a research here. Making a game. Recommended programmers. Five. And we have three on a team. We should be there. Maybe I have to really have to do have to put core on here. Dude, this is just creeping along here. Oh, we paid our tax bill. We got two million. Oh my god. We hey look, we have a hundred thousand dollars left over. Woo! Hundred and ten thousand active users. Monthly units is going up. Again.
PlayStation 6. Ooh, are you guys allowed to use that type of name? How's this coming along here? It actually is still an undersized team, so let's go hire some more. Who the hell are you? Now this office. I'm gonna recolor my teams now. Furnish, utility, AC unit. What's our server holding up? 15% load, that's really good. It's perfectly fine. So this thing is mostly bug fixed now. We don't really have to bug fix it anymore. 0.7% refunds. We can start working on a new game series. Let's do that. Game. Simulation. We're gonna make a game called Software Inc. I don't even look at which how the cost of these um the tools anymore. That's a pretty good game, I think. That's so weird. Expansion pack targeting. Thick of this. Do not meow at me, car cat. 
Do not meow at me, car cat. No. No, no. Stop it! You're so annoying. Oh, shiznackle. We gotta set these, uh, these groups up to work on one task at a time. There we go. That fixed that. That's why they were working so slow. They were multitasking. Oh snap, look at that. Inspiration's going down. We're using it. We're still making a million dollars a month from selling our Fallout game here. 20,000 units consumery. So we've sold 300,000 units. Do we want to port it? Not really. Ah, see, they're much faster at porting now, the team size of three, four. Duplicate. Wow, these sales here are just absolutely lovely, man. I was feeling so weird at the beginning, like, oh, this is really pathetic. But I knew we had a good product, so I just kind of stuck with it. And then it's kept blowing up in our, our sales here. This is great. Now we're the only one on the market. This is our first competition, some crystal town. This is supposed to be released in June, so this is supposed to be done soon. And it will be, look at that. 97% done. Oh, now we get set up. Oh, vacations are already done. We need to start marketing this game now, too.
135,000 active users. $400,000 after taxes. Amazing. A little review. How is our Fallout 3 game? People even gonna like it. Nine point six. Now let's iterate it. Beautiful teams here. Nine designers, 12 programmers, 15 marketers, three support. Six million dollars in the bank. Most of that's paying for our taxes though. Bye. Bye. So we're designing a new game. We're programming our, an old game. Hopefully we'll finish this sooner. Yeah, you can see we really need more programmers than anything. Almost have a quarter million fans off this one game we released. Come on, finish the game. 96%. Remember, it took us like four months to finish the last 10%. Programming the open world. Almost finished. No more bugs this time, right? Todd.
Ooh, what happened there? Oh, a new game came out. No, my sails are gonna die. Let's do a review of this game. We'll still promote it though. To next phase. Ten. Ten out of ten game. I think I'm gonna add some variety. Add some variety to the calendar vacation times. Hundred and forty bugs fixed. It's pretty good. We're gonna let this just sit idle for a bit. We only have one development team at the moment. Artiste system to D Dev one Dev two Dev three Now we can do press release and press build. Oh no, our fans are starting to go down in numbers. No. We still have a quarter million. I think at 300,000 we'll have two market recognition, which would be really good for us. Oh, this comes out really soon. We have to finish this now. Why am I not the best employer?
Let's say at 500 bugs fixed, we release it. set this to market so April two months after April of 88 go release this develop it update this one It's in storage. It's in storage. Night shift. You think I'd be the best employer? No. I think the reason I'm not the best employer is because my company is too small. We have the best, the best employer is determined by your employee benefits. And we get that as soon as our team, what's our, what's our current employee count? We're at 45. I think when we get the 50 threshold, then it will start appearing. I'm 90% sure it's because, um... Because we're too small. Seventeen thousand sales. Night Wars Revelation, huh? Wow, he's pushing some big numbers. Oh, now we have to worry about porting this thing. Port, 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 port. I'm confused. Did this company just like list all of their shares publicly? All right, so we put some money inside the subsidiary. I want to get rid of you. Oh my god, I can do that. Oh 
Okay, let's try... Ninety three. I'm going to put you on my lead team. And then I'm going to put you in this company. You are an autonomous company. Go ahead. Three percent refunds is pretty good. Consumer reach is pretty high. We can start working on a sequel now. Outstanding quality. This thing should just go crazy. Subsidiary. I could have you port something for me. I think I found the problem here. There we go. <laughs> so I noticed we had some uh, uh, person sitting idle in the break room. Oh, here's another one. Did I just get $200,000 when I fired that employee? It's kind of weird.
I think we need another team of support now. You really only need a few number of support people. Service, support, no marketing, cheap, support. And 30 bugs. Nice. Huge bug fix coming out. Best product Fallout 3 by Simp Holler. Best employer, not me yet. thousand active users sets us up greatly for a s DLC It's time to start doing this, June 88. Audio update. Get it done. Can I get above widespread, please? Okay, we did it. We're not getting a lot of followers here for our, um... What's the, what's announce a marketing date? September... So, December of 87.
Yep, 100,000 active users now and growing. Once this get done, we'll get this in the next phase of development. Fresh add-on, that's what it's called, the fresh add-on. It's like the fresh maker. Review it. Good. There's only three bugs in it the whole time. So now we get to market it, press build. Making $2 million a month in sales. Oh, how are my products doing here? Nice. Half million units sold. That's like silver. Wonder how much we're gonna sell this for. thousand followers that's what 20,000 sales we'll let this grow as long as it can and then we'll release it thousand bugs damn We're gonna have to start printing more copies now. When this stops growing in followers, we'll release it. It's probably sometime in December. Five thousand. Holy crap, that's beautiful. Okay, let's release this now.
Stumbling in the dark, lol. Good. Stumble in the dark. They done? I think there's no more bugs. Whoa, we got a quarter million monthly active users. Got it mostly bug fixed now. This one's all up to date. Not marketed enough though. Oh, we make a quarter million off this thing? Really? Sold some copies? No refund. Oh my god, there's no no returns. There's no it's a perfect software the first same day. Oh, hello. Welcome home. I'm live. Tried calling me to offer me a job and Place. Oh, now I got it. Yes.